It's the wrestling snob, Adam Lavelle, here again from WrestlingDoneRight.com to talk about the next segment from Monday Night Raw on May 13, 2024. This was a backstage segment that saw the Judgment Day hanging out. You know, you had Dominic there. You had JD. You had Finn Balor. And they were joined by Carlito. Look, I don't know what I think about this. What do you guys think about Carlito wanting to be in Judgment Day or wanting to work with them? What's going on with this? Now, I get it. I, I'm not saying it's a bad angle, if you will. He, he needs a place to go. He doesn't like Rey Mysterio. He points that out. Uh, in comes Damian Priest, who isn't happy. He doesn't like Carlito. He doesn't trust Carlito. Pretty much tells him, I don't want you around, dog. But if my boys want to work with you, that's on them. So that's where we are here. We're, we're to the point to where um, Carlito... Being the odd man out of the LWO, you know, turning on Dragon Leave or taking his WrestleMania spot, wants to team up with the Judgment Day guys and, and trying to find common ground and insists he can change Damian Priest's mind. Here's what I think. I think this is just another move to turn Damian Priest babyface, to make him loved by the fans. And, and I think they're doing it slowly. Again, again, everybody, remember the term build. Building angles. You don't just hot shot everything quickly. You know, do you watch those shows they put on A&E, you know, the formal rivals and stuff like that? The latest one being Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair. They went at each other for five damn years or more. You know, Dusty Chase, you, some of you got sick of Cody wanting to finish the story. Your whiny, bitchy ass attitudes about everything because you can't keep you people happy. And here in the past, it took his father five years or so to win the title back off of him. In the middle of it, they did a dusty angle where it looked like he won, but the referee had disqualified Ric Flair before he won the title. You people couldn't put up with good wrestling, so many of you. Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate those of you out there who do, those of you who get that the WWE finally is wrestling done right. Finally, after Poophead McMahon is gone, Triple H, my boy Paul Levesque, is doing it right. And that's another example of this. They're not just going to turn um, Damian Priest babyface. They aren't just going to flip a switch and all of a sudden he's a good guy. He's going to continue to use his real and natural personality, sometimes clashing with his teammates, sometimes not. Sometimes, you know, getting over his feelings, sometimes not. And that's what this story is telling us once again. Earlier tonight, he comes out to confront Drew McIntyre, another heel, right? He, com he comes out to sort of confront him. Damian Priest is a tweener, in my opinion. Yes, he's in a big heel stable, and yes, he's cheated to win. But Damian Priest is the kind of guy that's just the kind of gimmick that does what he wants. And if the fans like it, Okay, if the fans hate it, okay, he doesn't care. And Triple H and the others in the WWE see this, and they're tweaking it, and they're building it, and they're making it work. And that's another example here with Carlito. His boys are cool with him. Yeah, we could use a guy like Carlito. And, you know, they're priests like, ah, I don't trust this guy, but whatever. If you guys want to work with him, cool. So there he is in two angles tonight. The first one with another heel, putting him down, insulting him, telling him he'll give him a world title match, that being Drew McIntyre. And then pretty much right after that, not long after that, he's in the back not wanting anything to do with the underhanded Carlito, right? Why not? I mean, he's a heel. He's a bad guy. Shouldn't Priest embrace him? Take advantage of him? No, because Priest is who he is. And again, you can like it or dislike it. And this is how wrestling is done, folks. It is done right by making angles that tell a story, again, not my favorite word, of what's going on that you can follow and get invested in. And this was just a little thing that sets up a bigger thing down the road to where Damian Priest winds up possibly a gigantic baby face one day. But again, they're taking their time. So keep your eye on this. Keep your eye on him and McIntyre. Keep your eye on what's going on with Judgment Day because it's interesting. Those of you who are you're sick of Judgment Day, you know, all you do is complain it's because you don't see the well-crafted story that is in something like this. You, that you're blind to it. You just you're you're so used to guys like Vince Russo and Vince McMahon and and all these clowns that just do stuff for the sake of doing it, not for the sake of wrestling and for the sake of doing wrestling right. Do you get it? I hope you get it. If you don't, keep watching my videos. I'll teach you and take you along the way.